Ever wish you can go back in time and give your younger self advice? Doc, I'm from the future. Don't buy that car. It's literally gonna blow up on your way home. Don't eat that gas station sushi. You're gonna regret it. Yeah, hopefully by the end of this video, we'll be more prepared to start a job in the tech field. So without wasting any more time, here are five things to know before getting into any job in the tech field. The first thing is you don't need to wait to have certifications to land a job. It's a very common misconception that you need to have a bunch of IT certifications in order to land a job in the tech industry. While certifications can definitely be beneficial and enhance your resume, they are not always necessary. I repeat, they do not guarantee employment. I can personally attest to this as I landed my very first job in the tech field with no degree, no prior work experience, and no certifications. And within my first year in the tech field, I was making over $60,000 a year. While certifications can show that you have a certain level of knowledge and experience, employers are often more interested in your practical experience and problem solving. That's why I tell everyone not to wait to start applying for jobs so you have whatever certification you're chasing. You should always be applying right away that way you can start building experience sooner. Most of the time, stating that you are studying for a certification is almost as good as having the certification itself. Again, I did this when I was applying for my very first job in the field. I was actually studying for the CompTIA A+, and I listed it on my resume that I was studying for the A+, and I had the exam scheduled out for a future date. That got me past all the HR screening, screening filters, and then once I landed the job, I was able to get my CompTIA certification within a reasonable time period. Next, it is no secret that the IT field can be a high-stress field, especially as technology continues to evolve and rapid demand for skilled professionals remains high. However, this is important important for individuals in the field to develop healthy coping mechanisms and self-care practices to manage stress and maintain a healthy work-life balance. One of the most effective ways to manage stress is to engage in regular physical activity. Exercise has been shown to reduce stress and anxiety and depression while increasing feelings of well-being and self-esteem. Whether it's going for a run, taking a yoga class, or hitting the gym, Finding a physical activity that you enjoy and can stick with can be incredibly beneficial to both your physical and mental health. Now, I know it may not look like I engage in much physical activity, but I can definitely understand how crippling stress and anxiety can be. And trust me, you don't want to get into a place where you start to regret going to your dream job. It is important to prioritize your mental health. This may include activities such as meditation, mindfulness, or even going to therapy. Finding a way to reduce stress and increase feelings of calm and relaxation can help you stay focused and productive while at work. Finally, this might seem counterproductive, especially if you're trying to land a job in the field, but it is important to set boundaries and establish a healthy work-life balance. This may mean turning off your phone or email during non-work hours, taking regular breaks throughout the day, and setting realistic expectations for yourself in terms of workload and deadlines. All been there. We all get superhero syndrome, especially when we're first starting out in the field. You feel like you have to take it all on and you can never ask for help. And that's just a recipe for disaster. By prioritizing your own needs and well-being, you'll be better equipped to handle the demands of a high-stress IT job and enjoy the fulfilling career. I've actually created an entire video about mental health in the tech field. You can actually check it down in the description below when of course this video is done. Now, let's pick up the pace a bit. Next thing is you'll need to have excellent problem-solving skills. Tech support is all about problem-solving. You need to be able to identify the root cause of the problem and come up with a solution that works. This requires excellent critical thinking skills and the ability to think on your feet. You also need to be able to troubleshoot problems that might not have an obvious solution, which can be frustrating at times and time consuming process. In addition, you'll need to be able to prioritize workloads effectively. This means being able to determine which issues you need to address first, which can wait. If you're not a good problem solver or struggle with working well under pressure, this might not be the job for you. You also need to be comfortable with repetitive tasks. Tech support can be extremely repetitive, especially when you're first starting out in the field. You'll work on the same issue over and over again. You'll get that one employee that is constantly forgetting their password. You're constantly having to reset it for them multiple times a day, even some Sometimes. And it can get frustrating having to do the same thing over and over, especially when you're wanting to work on these glorious things and you're just stuck resetting passwords, creating email accounts. We've all been there. We've all done our time. So 
it can be extremely frustrating. Just keep your eye on the end goal. You may be able to stay focused and motivated even when dealing with the same problems day in and day out. This can be challenging for some people, especially those who need a variety of new challenges to stay engaged in their work. Different organizations will operate differently, keep in mind. When working for a company like an MSP, you'll likely see a lot more variety in your day-to-day -day work, where if you get a job working for a private organization, sometimes you can get siloed off, especially in those larger organizations. In addition, you'll need to be able to handle a high volume of work. This means being able to work quickly, effectively, and also maintain a high level of accuracy. Next, it's not just about fixing computers. When most people think of tech support, they're probably imagining someone sitting in front of a computer, fixing hardware issues like broken screens, malfunctioning keyboards, and so on. Well, this is certainly a big part of the job. Tech support goes beyond just hardware. You'll also need to be able to troubleshoot software issues, network problems, other non-tech related problems that clients might be facing. In order to be effective in this role, you'll need to have a broad understanding of technology. This means staying up to date with the latest trends and advancements in technology while, which requires a willingness to constantly learn and adapt. So if you're not interested in constantly learning about new technologies, this might not be the career for you. The technology field is evolving at an ever increasing rate and you have to be willing to learn. When you're first starting out in the field, I highly recommend certifications like the A plus because they cover such a broad variety of things that you need to know that good foundational knowledge will help you land that first entry level job. Now, if I haven't completely scared you away yet, I recommend you guys check out this video next to learn how to start setting up some career goals in the IT field. Because once you know what you want to do in this career field and build a career plan, landing that dream job might be easier than you think. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, keep learning.